Morning, beautiful world. I often get comments about how come my eggs taste the best. No bait! JJ! Belly! No bait! Oh, look at the water pump. Oh my chick is it? Check your legs. <laughs> I think you got the best eggs, Ryan Ross. See? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Flay? What you doing this morning, huh? It's because I feed them chicken pizza! Spicy chicken pizza every morning! Hells with breakfast in the day! Spicy, spicy pizza in the morning! It's the way to get paid! Jumpy! Jumpy! Go get you some food, little mama. How <laughs> <laughs> beautiful it is. What's up, duck, 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 tube, doo 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 doo? Hey, tough Alusis, you missed the pizza. Y'all might be asking, where's Juju at? Well, Juju's a butt hugger. Get me up for like a couple of days because the uh, females in heat. And this is the way we roll. This is the way we roll. We got Juju on a lot. Look at that pizza eating mother truck. Look at that. Got the whole pizza. That's a female with that pizza. Look at her running with the whole pizza. She said she got kids to feed. Oh, they just take it from her. She got the whole damn pizza, man. Pizza Wars. Look at that shenanigan. Johnny Cock. Johnny Cash got it. They be running that pizza around all day and night. Look, there it goes. Right there, there's a the pizza. Johnny Cash. One gets it, he runs, got a bite, then one takes it from him, he runs, he gets a bite. That's some pizza, man. that's some egg makers right there. Best damn egg makers in the world. Look okay, that right, player haters and haters and players. Players of haters and haters of players. What's up, Pimp City? Pimp C Clam, boy. This is my rider right here, that's the one that's always on my shoulder. My shoulder ride or die, man. Ride or die shoulder style, you heard? It gets a little crazy when I try to get the food, so. Let me show y'all how I do this. Excuse me. First thing we do, we take a walk down south. South side, south side. Let's walk that south side walk, baby. Come on, guys. Oh, in case y'all don't know, this is Rod Rod and this is Haven Beautiful Homestead. This is where we walk. Da -da 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 -da. We walk along, we sing this song, and this is how we walk. Walk, we walk, we walk. Da -da 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 -da. We walk and talk, we talk and walk, we sing and while we talk. Da -da 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 -da. La -da 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 -da. La 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 Sing that song and lean along and listen while we talk. Whistle while we talk. Duck dog why I'm mine. Duckity duckity mother truckity. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. 
Isn't it beautiful, everybody? The kids did it, they did it. Every day a new adventure. Hey, long leg, what's up? She was Joe Jackson. Get my girl on my shoulder. My shoulder rider. Hey, guys. We chilling like Flint. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, y'all got the ants. Shoeless Joe Jackson in the hand. That ain't shoeless. Yeah, it is. You're standing in ants, you dummies. <laughs> it's a tough lot. Y'all on ants. You're standing on ants. He's standing on ants. He's standing on ants. <laughs> yeah, you got ants on your feet. I think I got a chicken on my neck. What's up, my pretty baby? Can I get a kiss? Can I play you get a kiss? My beautiful life, man. You don't get no better than this. That one's usually on my shoulder, too. Ain't that right? It's my morning. Did you deal with the birds first? Now I gotta deal with all the babies. Just another Saturday Monday. I wish it was Saturday. How about Sunday? Just another ratty Monday. Oh, it's Sunday, homie. Sunday like Oh, that pizza eater right there. Still eating that pizza. Look, there's our aunt Samani. Right there by the Indica Gigantica. What's up, Samani? Look at pizza. These are pizza runners. The guy running away, he got the pizza in his hand. All by himself. I'm going to bring him to him. That thing's smoking. That thing ain't been used in 10 years. Excuse me! Excuse me! No! Mm. 
Give me, Bubby. $2,000 you just threw on the ground. I gotta lay this out so I can go feed the rest of the crew. Little pizza eating over there. Got the pizza on the floor. Eating the pizza like it's on the dough. You see the pizza right there on crust? Damn crust of a pizza right here. Damn poo poo platter. Yeah, dang poo poo platter. You don't poop on my house.
I hope y'all are liking, subscribing, and hitting that like button. Now we gotta look at what's going on in the Riz world. The real world, players. Teachers let kids suck toad to raise money for a charity. A so a toe sucking contest for seniors. Ain't nothing wrong with this. Where the hell are the adults at? They need to be put in prison over that shit. That's child abuse. Dude, that is sexually graphic. Sucking toes. Those look like junior high kids. Is that a blue chip one? I don't know what pedophiles count as persons, but I'm going to pause this video. It's, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it in the back. Uh, this video is incredibly impulsive in the stomach. A lot of people, not the public school educators, of course, because a lot of them be kid fuckers and no lefties, and of course, they're like, oh, everybody's a kid fucker. Come on, look at this, 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 look at this. Yeah. Look at how you guys are trading Donald Trump. You, you, you ain't trading Gisley Maxwell or Jeffrey Epstein, Harvey Weinstein, or Oprah in the same fashion that you're trading Donald Trump. That's weird. That's weird. Uh, you guys keep aligning yourself with kid fuckers. Got all of these public school weirdos doing all types of weird shit with small children. You guys are well, 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 the, 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 the teachers don't know Teachers don't know fast. Teachers are fucking stupid. Anyhow, you got this video over here where you've got, I think it's a high school, I think it's 9th to 12th grade students, and uh, they suck in the toes and look in the feet. A fucking people. They need to go to prison. That's child abuse for charity? We need to look into that charity, too. Fine, right? They did that after drive quick. And right before dildo period. What the hell? Art is making dildo for trans kids? Uh, the, what is going on? We're going to be going over the history and the epidemiology of dildo. What? Huh? Anyhow, uh, they, they told everybody basically shut up. It's fine. No, it's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine until everybody here is arrested. Everybody <laughs> needs to be arrested. Every single person needs to be arrested here. Oklahoma City uh, School uh, District. For us, uh, Letting kids suck toe for charity. What's the name of the school, by the way? What's the name of the charity? Deer Creek School District, boys. Deer Creek, Deer school, Creek district. school District. Sucking toes for charity. Using no, kids. I want an investigation. I want an investigation. I like how all of these pedo enablers keep screaming stochastic terrorism. I want everybody to know what school this is so we can go investigate the fucking people running this school because nobody thought this was insane. What about the charity? Why do you have an entire fucking school over here and no adults in there going, no? Shit, no, I believe we get a Charity for trans rights. Right. No shit. You get this on the right. a fucking joke? Nothing to the movie, you fucking moron lucky out there and fucking FBI's asshole. I want all these people arrested. Arrested. As much as I would like to punch one of these fuckers in their stupid fucking faces, that excitement's only gonna last a few moments and then I'm gonna get arrested and then I'm gonna go to jail. No, no, I would rather them just go to jail. I'd rather all of these fucking pedophiles go to jail for the rest of their fucking life. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Of children in an Oklahoma City area. You can't protect our children. You can't protect our country. And tell of others. Others. This was on February 29th, Deer Creek School District released a statement saying, Hey, it's fine, man. We're raising money. What the fuck? No. No. Step up question, Biden. Oh. All of fully fine. You can't protect our children. How are you going to protect our country? <laughs> Look what you're going after Trump and you let all these child predators get away with whatever. Shut up. And you got their back. The charity recipient of this needs to distance themselves or I'm going to want them arrested too. 
You took money from this? What you don't know is Biden is so corrupt, they got so much dirt on him. He'll do whatever they tell him to do. They out of prison. They want a dad to go nuts. They want a dad to go nuts. That's the only thing that makes sense over here. That's the only thing. Again, we want these people arrested. We want them arrested. Right? They should spend the rest of their lives in fucking prison. But the point of doing shit. What are you in prison? Oh, I said a charity kid. Toad suckers. Look at this fucking racist conservative beat up one of these poor school teachers over here. Uh, the school teacher getting a fucking toe sucked by his children? Oh, this is fucking insane. This is crazy. It's crazy how it's fucking insane this is. <laughs> so the school goes, hey, shut up, assholes. Deer Creek School District in Oklahoma released a statement saying, uh, hey, listen, man, this afternoon we raised $152,000, so shut up. No. $152,000, you're sucking toes. Average Joe Creek Public Only... Child predators pay that much. Money from this this uh, school completely compromised and uh, full of kid fuckers. So I wouldn't take any of this money if I were you. If, if I was not your average Joe Coffee, I'd be like, no, are you fucking, are you kidding me? You kidding? We ain't taking that money. That is dirty, filthy money. Pedophile paid money. The the pedo equivalent of blood diamonds. So anyway, they're like, hey man, we went to blood for, diamonds for, for a coffee place. It was long. And says, listen. This is fucking, this is madness. During this assembly, 9th through 12th grade students volunteered to participate in various... 9th to 12th grade students! This is money for that coffee place. All I doubt any seniors did it. Ruin these students. Life. They Life. Now they're so, going to be known as sucking toes so, their whole life. What if the kids said, hey, uh, let's sign up for a game where we stab each other? Would you be like, well, okay, well, let's like, the kids signed up. You're saying it. you're stabbing well, each other, but you're saving money for charity. No. Um, and then they say, no Deer Creek faculty or staff participated in any of the toe sucking. What? No, you used the students. You freaking idiots. This, uh, these this fucking school. You used the students. Like, well, listen. No, it's, it's suck the toes. Get my toes sucked by the students. No, we got and on the internet and found like, people that so, will get their toes sucked. You just you just brought a bunch of fucking Reddit? They get a Reddit post to get the toe what, sucking what, what, you go your, competition uh, going. Parade? You come with your fucking goofballs and want their toes sucked by kids. You bought them in it. What? Who the fuck are these people? Obviously, they pay one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get their, their toes sucked in front of all the faculty of this fucking. That's where's the I teachers at? Not one teacher, you're teacher you're had a problem with this. Fucking, I, it's expanding the amount of fucking pedophile energy coming out of this. You found other people. To bring into an assembly to get their toes sucked by these students during your assembly, where all of your teachers fucking watch this play out and nobody said, "Are you motherfuckers good?" Nobody said that. And I am. Many dedicated students gave generously of their personal time to achieve this momentous accomplishment, which will serve communities beyond the boundaries of Deer Creek. I, guys, uh, Deer Creek might be full of pedophiles. <laughs> Hey, guys, listen, we'd like to thank everybody. We'd like to thank everybody that came in and got their fucking toes sucked. Feist. Fucking insane. Who wrote this? What Kool Aid haired diversity hire wrote this? <laughs> All of the rape of them. So uh, there you go. This fucking school is like, shut up, assholes. It's totally fine that we, bought a, we brought in a bunch of people to get their toes sucked at this school fucking event. Holy shit! Holy shit. Deer Creek, boys. De Oklahoma City's Deer Creek School District got a lot of fucking, a lot of slang in the game. This is fucking mad. Alright, guys, thank you so much for. Uh, listen, I'm sorry for assaulting you with this video. Sorry. Sorry. Where's my salty cracker at? How come you ain't posted in six days, bro? I hope you're alright. And I hope that I hate playing. <laughs> so sucky maniacs.
and canceled my boy off the over the toe sucking thing was his last video. Eventually struck him over that. This ain't a press secretary. She can't answer simple questions without giving propaganda. <laughs> Um, what is the administration's response to the 14 House Democrats who voted with Republicans the other day to denounce the uh, vote open borders policies of the Biden administration? Nice. Uh, I, what do you mean? What's not allowed? What, what do you mean, about? bitch? Response to 14 Democrats in the House believing that oh, the president has open border policies. He does. He said search the border. We to deal with what's going on at the border. That's why we're having these conversations, these negotiations uh, in the Senate with Republicans and Democrats. The president understands that this is an issue that matters to the American people. Well, that's Jackie, he called for a surge on the border. He signed executive orders that Trump had established. Remain in Mexico, all that. And he, the first day he signed it over and got rid of all that. And then he called for a surge on the border. Then y'all said y'all gonna give him benefits. Free Free rent, free food, free fucking everything, you mother freaking liars. You liar. Republicans and Democrats in Senate want to do more. Is it still physician? I can't watch this. I'm gonna lose I have a heart attack. He can sign his second border and fits everything right now. But he wants money to go to Ukraine. His tax deal for the border is all about Ukraine. The position of the administration that the efforts to impeach Secretary Mayorkas are unconstitutional. Oh, okay, I see what you did. Is that what House Republicans are doing is playing political games. That's what we believe. And they're not they're playing games they're with America! People want them to be doing. Oh, big boy! Oh, they're freaking prisons in here! Even testify. They want to impeach him, but they're not even let, allowing him to testify. And Sounds so like what y'all did to Trump. <laughs> and what we've encouraged these House Republicans to do, and this is something that we saw coming out of the midterm, <laughs> of the to see Republicans and Democrats working together to deliver for them. Yeah, and not deliver for Ukraine. That's what we deliver for uh, American uh, people. No. <laughs> Of course, you know, I saw that um, there was a memo that came out um, God. touting this. Who believes this shit? Uh, law professors making the argument that impeachment based on policy disagreements is unconstitutional. So is, is that the approach the administration You mean like trying to impeach a guy that ain't president no more? In Sam's memo that went out, and it, it was included in an open letter from a number of constitutional law professors who were arguing. Like locking up grandma for peacefully protesting. <laughs> is forbidden in the Constitution. Well, I'm going to let my colleagues uh, let her stand for itself. I've been very clear on the violate well, the Constitution. It's okay. think about these impeachment proceedings and, and a proceeding that is not even allowing a Secretary Marcus to testify. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Together, though, because it came to us from you know the White House, obviously, yeah. that you know is this something that the administration is going to fight in court um, on the on the constitution? They don't want to know that no. This is not that can happen. And I will say, I'm going to let my, my White House uh, uh, colleagues at the council, the council's office, uh, respond. To Move. That. What the hell? Move. A month ago today, when you were asked about whether the White House had any regrets about linking Ukraine with border funding, you said no, not at all. That's the reason it ain't bad. Today. The White House have any regrets about this strategy? No, because both of the are the president, they are emergency requests. What about the people of this country? We believe all of it needs to move forward. Currently, on student loans, that's not trade the border for Ukraine funding. Senator Bill Cassidy specifically saying that the president is pandering in this election year, trying to buy votes with these kinds of loans. Of course, he did it last time. Saying it's not fair for Americans who didn't go to college to have to pay for those who racked up too much debt. What is the White House response to that? We've heard that rhetoric many times before. Reading my butt! Uh, what you That's what the American people uh, want to know! The president made a promise that uh, that he, he lied about to take action to give American families a little bit of He also promised he's going to cure cancer. 
uh, student, the student debt as well. And you heard at the top when I said, I laid out that, um, you know, folks should not have to be crushed by student debt to be able yeah, to- Yeah, folks that never went to college shouldn't be crushed to pay for other people's okay, student fucking to, debt. Uh, be able to buy a home, right? And so this is what we've, we've seen over the past several decades. And the president has been very clear. He's going to do everything that he can uh, to give people a little bit more re re Buy votes, bitch! Sure you will Buy votes, folks, bitch! That's what we're seeing, right? We're seeing that from... Buy um, votes is what we're seeing. <laughs> Empty promises that will never come true. And so I've heard those comments. <laughs> that that the, president believes, the president believes that is important. You get you gotta remember this is a president who He said he was gonna do it last time the Supreme Court he said it's not military, constitutional. Right? Now he's gonna try the same lie again. Which bill are you gonna pay? I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to pay that medical bill? Are you going to be able to pay that medical bill? Are you going to be able to put food on the table? Are you going to be able to pay the Who pays their medical uh, bills when they can't pay their rent? Not me. These are conversations that American families have every month. And so if the president can do something to give families a little bit of dignity. Dignity! How about America needs dignity? And a secure border. And not using our taxpayer money to fund endless wars. All over the world. About Arab Americans not wanting to vote for him over Gaza. His response was to point to former President Trump's travel ban on Muslim majority nations. Putting aside for a moment that most Arab Americans are Christian, is, is that the bar here that his predecessor and likely opponent wants to uh, ban Muslims and President Biden doesn't? And how does that relate to the system of Gaza? It doesn't. Careful because there's a mix of uh, of um, upcoming election on, uh, on in your question uh, in 2024. Look, I, I would look at, and I really want to be mindful here and careful. Uh, I think what the president was doing was trying to give a reminder of where we were before, right? What it looked like before in the last uh, four years and the last. You mean years. when everybody could pay their bills, everybody was happy, everything was going great before the corona. That's what you're talking about. When America was booming, jobs were booming, we all remember before Biden, Mother Chuck. felt left behind. And so he is, I think, his his record and what he's been trying to do for folks here. It's depressing America and the world. The Arab American community is very, very clear. And so told that Afghanistan just to put in our resources in Ukraine. We knew what the hell was going on. He, he thought of it as uh, obviously asked in a political way. And so that's why he went. Uh, but I just also want to be super careful because this is a upcoming election. Away from the campaign, then, since the conflict began, the president has sat down with Muslim leaders only once that we know of on October 26th. Man, that makes me so mad, dude. Biden is not running this country. He can't even run sentences together. America. Oh, man, got me so mad, dude. I can't watch that in the morning. Let's watch some clown world. Super day fashion slay. There's a child cutting me. They hate you because you're corrupting our children. Call me a groomer. You're a groomer. Your post was for kids. You told them don't talk to their families. That you're their only friend. I stayed small. I stayed quiet. I stayed in a self-hating place on the edge of disappearing. I think that would be okay. For most of them, but they are afraid. They are afraid of our deep, abiding kindness for ourselves. And, uh, I didn't think I was going to go here, 
And of course, they're jealous. Because they know together every day and post again the strength that they may better know in their brains. Thanks for your love and support. Thanks for your love and support. Nobody loves you. Did you just say? But of course, you're jealous. Wrong again, idiot. <laughs> Jeff is going to continue to play that victim card and pretend not to know what this whole thing's about. When I think Jeffrey knows exactly what this whole thing's he about, he was grooming kids. People aren't upset that Jeffrey's existing. People just don't like when you start most of your TikToks off with, hey, kids. Then, tell said kids to go sign up for your private Patreon so you can have conversations with them that their parents don't know about. Also, you're not going to make any new friends by saying stuff like this. Let me tell you something about LGBTQ rights about trans rights. This is only going in one direction. You will respect us. You can be upset. You can be angry. You can think it's unfair. You can feel like we're stealing something from you, but it's still only going in one direction. <laughs> no. Who, who the f do you think you are, you crazy little shit? Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So I have a very quick and crazy weekend clown world update for you guys today, and as usual, we have, well, very little time to waste, so... Let's get it to have a place I'll take it on the screen for a moment. So, this is a post from a subreddit called Translator. And I'm not quite for sure exactly what that means, but that's what it's called nonetheless. So, this balding individual here is Diana. Now, Diana is a biological man that identifies as a trans woman. He calls himself a transbian or trans lesbian. Now, Diana posted this photo, and the caption says, Not feeling very pretty today. What? You look like a dog shit. You ugly little man. You ugly little man. Little man. Now, since we just had the State of the Union address by former Vice President Joe Biden a couple nights back, it's still fresh in everyone's mind. People are still talking about it. So here we have famous Hollywood actor Robert De Niro, who suffers from a severe, severe case of TDS, also known as Trump Derangement Syndrome, is giving his thoughts about it to Bill Maher, another person who suffers from a severe case of TDS. Roll it. I thought he was great. Yeah, I did too. He repeated the same thing in Europe for six years. I, you know, I, this whole thing about him and his age is all nonsense from the Republicans and even from our party. The bottom line is, it's Biden versus Trump. We want to live in a world that we want to live in and enjoy living in or live in a nightmare. We're living in a fucking nightmare! Now, it's not a shock for any of us to hear people like Robert De Niro and Bill Maher talk like that. I mean, they're part of that elite class. They're actually part of the establishment. But to hear young people like this fellow talk like that... <coughs> the only He's getting paid by Biden. Part of that paid influencer army. Paid influencer army. I have just spread propaganda. So just like the young lad Harry and his boyfriend Chris, I'm fairly certain this guy is a paid establishment show. Roll it. All right, y'all, I just finished my midterms, and I haven't had the opportunity to talk about the State of the Union, but holy cow, I've been a Biden guy, and I love all the work the administration has done, but after last night, there cannot what be work? a single ounce of doubt in anyone's mind that President Biden is our guy. Our guy and to go to Oak said home. something that really stuck out to me. It's not about how old you are. It's about how old your policies are. And when we have a candidate on one side who created over 15 million new jobs, who was the first president to create an office of gun violence prevention, who is working to where if you give him a Democratic House, a Democratic Senate, you get a Senate, and it will be weighed into law. I mean, it could not be any clearer that Joe Biden is our guy. And I can tell you firsthand that I'm going to be working my tail off 
to ensure that we reelect President Biden and Vice President Harris come November because oh we need a God. president that's going to bring us together, <laughs> not one that wants to take us back in time. So who's with me? Let's do it. What the hell did you just say after last He's night? He's going to regret that for the rest of his life. There a single ounce of doubt in anyone's mind that <laughs> President Biden is our guy. Are you retarded? Yeah. All right, next up we have this lady who, by the sounds of things, goes out into public wearing some kind of prosthetic pig nose. Roll it. I'd like to know what my neighbors think when they see me outside like this. Because me, personally, if I saw myself walking down the street, I immediately would start being like, kids, get behind me. Like, I feel like there's at least, like, one person in my apartment complex that when they see me, they're like, Barbara, come here. That crazy bitch is at it again. Anyway, here's my outfit of the day. Oh. Hopefully I can get some cute pictures. Oh, what the f***? What the f***? Next up, we have, once again, another sad example of what this whole gender ideology does to a young, impressionable mind. Now, somebody duped this young lady into believing that if she identifies as a man, then everyone else will see her that way, too. And that is just complete and utter nonsense. Roland. I am one of those trans people that like does not have the energy to correct people when they misgender me. I just, it's not what I'm going to spend my time on. And that means I get misgendered a lot and like repeatedly by the same people and I know if I should just go on tea if that'll, if that'll stop people from misgendering me. I don't think it will, but I'm just at the point where I'm like, I don't know what else I can do. It's like all over my online presence all over my email you signature. look like a girl so i introduce myself <laughs> and still don't have the energy to correct people but obviously it pain hurts and i'm tired of it so i don't know yeah what do, what do people do these days what don't do be fluent and changing your sexuality every couple of minutes mind. and you won't it's be misgendered <laughs> Now, we keep hearing that white rage and white Christian men are the biggest threat to our democracy. White now, trans are the aggressive, the meanest people in the world. However, I think people like this the are a people. big problem. Somebody broke her brain. I don't know where she got all this information, but she's swinging at the fences. I feel like she would snap at the drop of a dime. Roll it. <laughs> I'm so tired of white cis women being more dedicated to being called a healer than actually doing the work to be a healer. The only thing that you're worried about healing is your bruised ego and being compliant with your complacency in genocide and your obsession with upholding privilege. We do not need more nice white women. Are you kidding me? You stop asking marginalized people to do the work for you because you don't feel comfortable with it. I am so tired of having conversations with white cis women where they're more upset about the fact that they're being called in or called out than the fact that they're harming marginalized people. The fact that there is little genocide that they I bet you don't start a conversation by calling someone a sis. Instagram? And these are the same women. <laughs> you don't want us to call you something yet. You want to call us all sis. And sisses. their business opportunity to use their voice to create their community. So why is it that when in your mode of healing and community and business, why the fuck? Is liberation not being centered? Y'all are stealing resources and precious energy and precious time from marginalized people because you are not willing to do it yourself. It's pathetic and it's privileged as you have so much power. Stop pretending that you can play small and get away with it. Step it the f up. Your comfort is not a priority here at all. She's fit for a straight jacket. This one's after you race towards the weekend. Hey, real quick, before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to let this loop on the screen now. I'm going to put the volume up and just one minute. You're not going to want to miss it. It's very creepy. Anyway, today's video is being brought to us by our great friend, Coda320. Coda320, once again, and as always, sir, thank you so much for your kindness, generosity, and support. It's always greatly appreciated. 
And as I always say, Coda 320 is one of those people that keep my faith in humanity alive. So, once again, Coda 320, thank you so much. For the now, if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below, and I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. Let's hear it. <laughs> Next up, so apparently this fella here, Blossom, recently changed his pronouns, and some people have some questions. So Blossom is here to clear up any confusion. Roll it. Okay, Blossom, you're using she, her pronouns. Does that mean that you're not non-binary anymore? Why are you using she, they? Long story short, I am a non-binary person. <laughs> as my pronouns, the non-binary aspect seem to be the most salient aspect of my identity to people. And we know that pronouns do not equal gender, but for a lot of people, when they heard they, them, they were no longer seeing my femininity in the way that I needed them to see my femininity. So pronouns do not equal gender, just because why do you need other people fucking accept However, for a lot of people, you don't people, even accept don't yourself. Don't say that pronouns don't equal gender. I feel more seen as a non-binary person. Okay, Blossom, so what do you think about that? Do you think that pronouns do not equal gender? Just because I use she, her pronouns doesn't mean that I'm not still a non-binary trans woman. What the f*** is this guy talking about? All right, we're gonna lighten it up a little bit with this next one and try to have a good laugh. Now this clip absolutely nails it with the parody. The caption says, beauty pageants in 2024 be like, bro. And the winner of the 2024 Miss America beauty pageant is President Joe Biden, this man is the gift that keeps on giving. Now, here's a little speech he gave the night after he fumbled and fumbled and stumbled his way through the State of the Union address. And you know how they keep telling us that January 6th it was the worst thing to happen to our democracy since, what, the Civil War? Well, I don't think Joe honestly believes that. You'll see exactly what that means in just one second. Anyway, things are clearly getting very crazy out there, guys, so please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll it. Last night, in the U.S. Capitol, the same building where our freedoms came under assault on July the 6th. Um, can you repeat the part of the stuff where you said all about the things? Uh, the thing? Last night, in the U.S. Capitol, the same building where our freedoms came under assault on July the 6th. On July the 6th. July the 6th. You must have got manure for your brains. You shit for brains. And you ain't black. <laughs>
be what Mons and Mons and Mons for today. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let me take the one question from the most interesting guy that I know in the press. That's you. So has there ever not been a U.S. service member killed in combat in Afghanistan since February of 2020? You set a deadline, you pulled troops out, you sent troops back in, and now 12 Marines are dead. You said the buck stops with you. Do you bear any responsibility for the way that things have unfolded in the last few weeks? No. I bear responsibility for fundamentally all that's happened of late but here's the deal you know i wish you'd one day say these things you know as well as i do that the former president there he goes blaming made a deal with the taliban that he would get all american forces out of afghanistan by may 1. in return the commitment was made that was a year before in return he was given a commitment that the taliban would continue to attack others, but would not attack any American forces. You! You liar! Remember that? I'm, I'm being serious. I'm, no, I, I'm asking you a question. Be, uh, because before... I, no, 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 wait a minute. I'm asking you a question. I said, is that accurate? The best you're not. What? I think they have an issue that people are likely to get hurt. Some, as we've seen, have gotten killed, and that it is messy. The reason why, whether my friend will acknowledge it or has reported it, the reason why there were no attacks on Americans, as you said, from the date until I came into office was because the commitment was made by President Trump, I will be out by May 1st. In the meantime, you agree not to attack any Americans. That was the deal. Oh my God, will you let it go? That's why no American was attacked. Uh, you think the decision squarely stand by your decision to pull out? Yes, I do, because look at it this way. And I'm gonna, I have another meeting for real. But imagine where we'd be if I had indicated on May the 1st, I was not going to renegotiate the evacuation date. We were gonna stay there. I have only one alternative, pour thousands of more troops back into Afghanistan to fight a war that we had already won relative to why the reason we went in the first place. <laughs> really? I have never been of the view that we should be sacrificing American lives to try to establish a democratic government in Afghanistan a country that has never once in its entire history been a united country and is made up, I don't mean this in a derogatory, made up of different tribes who have never, ever, ever gotten along with one another. And so, as I said before, this is the last comment I'll make. We'll have more chance to talk about this, unfortunately, beyond, because we're not out yet. <laughs> If Osama bin Laden, as well as Al-Qaeda, had chosen to launch an attack when they left Saudi Arabia out of Yemen, would we have ever gone to Afghanistan? Even though the Taliban completely controlled Afghanistan at the time, would we have ever gone? I know it's not fair to ask you questions, it's rhetorical, but raise your hand if you think we should have gone. What the hell is that? And given up thousands of lives and tens of thousands of wounded. Our interest in going 
was to prevent Al Qaeda from reemerging. First, to get bin Laden, wipe out Al Qaeda in Afghanistan, prevent that from happening again. So I've said a hundred times, terrorism is metastasized around the world. We have greater threats coming out of other countries, a heck of a lot closer to the United States. We don't have military encampments there. We don't keep people there. We have over the horizon capability to keep them from going after us. Ladies and gentlemen, it was time to end a 20-year war. Thank you so much. Don't you fucking bullshit. <laughs> this ought to be good. I, I, I think so, too. Uh, about the way forward, Mr. President, as we leave your overseas trip, there were reports that were surfacing that your administration is planning to pay illegal immigrants who are separated from their families at the border up to $450,000 each, possibly a million dollars per family. Do you think that that might incentivize more people to come over illegally? You guys keep sending that garbage out, yeah. It's not true. So this is a garbage. Yeah. Okay. So 450000 $450, dollars per person. Is that what you saying? That was separated from a family member at the border under under the last administration. That's not going to happen. Okay. And then just a follow up because you mentioned Trump a couple times when you went to try to help Terry McCullough and uh, a couple of weeks ago, pretty well. You mentioned Trump 24 times. Do you still think that voters really want to hear you talking about Trump? more than the issues affecting them every day. The reason I mentioned Trump, if I didn't count the times, is because the issues he supports are affecting their lives every day and their negative impact on their lives. Thank you all very much. Thank you. You no longer need to wear a mask. And it seems... I have to say that the world is vaccinated. In May, you made it sound like the vaccine was the ticket to losing the mask forever. And it's that is true at the time. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it! People who are going to understand that getting vaccinated is a gigantic difference. And what happened was. New variants came along, they didn't get vaccinated, it was spread more rapidly, and people, more people were getting sick. That's it. Mr. President, I have a question about something that you just said. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you just said there is no wall high enough and no ocean wide enough to protect us from the virus. So what is the thinking behind letting untested and unvaccinated migrants cross the southern border into U.S. cities in record numbers. Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really, really pissed off about having to make this video. I really am. Because what I saw last night on video from Joe Biden should infuriate every single person. Democrat, Republican, Independent. What Joe Biden actually said during the State of the Union, when he actually called the illegal alien murderer of Lake and Riley an illegal. He said that. However, he couldn't get the name of Lake and Riley right. And he still, to this point, has not corrected that. He said Lincoln Riley, who is the uh, head football coach at uh, USC. Now, the left was outraged that Joe Biden called this person and illegal because he wasn't illegal. 
There's no debate about that. That man that killed Lincoln Riley was an illegal. But the left, the Democrats, they were outraged that Joe Biden called the illegal alien an illegal. They wanted him to be called undocumented. For one thing, why are you giving any respect to this illegal that came in and murdered an American citizen? He deserves no respect whatsoever. He shouldn't have any rights because the rights here in this country are reserved for American citizens. This person is a criminal scumbag. You know what, guys? This really shouldn't be surprising, you know, considering how they elevated George Floyd. I'm willing to bet if this person was actually a white person that was here legally and they killed a black person, boy, it left be outrage. Outrage. It really does piss me off, guys, to have to sit here and make this video. Democrats. No one should vote for you. No one should be voting Democrat. This is just proof, man, they hate you because now Joe Biden has bent the knee. He bent the knee that fast because I believe pretty obvious his handlers told him, you need to apologize. Oh, not the, not the Lincoln Riley, oh no. Apologize to the illegal alien who murdered her. I apologize to the left. And that is what Joe Biden has done now. Let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday. Just starts at $5 per month. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button, get access to the same thing. Check this out. I cannot believe this, guys. MSNBS. Joe Biden was actually on there. I can't remember the guy saying who he's actually talking to. This guy was actually crying like a few weeks ago. It was so pathetic. But MSNBS is a left-wing propaganda outlet for the Democrat Party. Joe Biden now has bent the knee. Bent the knee. He says he regrets using the word undocumented. Now, MSNBC, where is the outrage for Joe Biden getting uh, Lake and Riley's name wrong? No outrage. No complaints about that. Even Nancy Pelosi didn't care. Let's go ahead and listen to this, guys. Let's play it. I noticed the look of surprise on your face when you walked into the chamber and you saw Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, it was priceless. You feigned shock at, at seeing her. But during your response to her heckling of you, you used the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, no, Lake and Riley. No, I'm documented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal, I should have, it's undocumented. And look, when I spoke about the difference between Trump and one of the things I talked about on the border was that his, the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I talked about what I'm not gonna do, what I won't do. I'm not gonna treat any, any, any disrespect. Look, they built the country. The reason our economy is growing, we have to control the border and, and more orderly flow, but I, I don't share his view at all. So you, you regret using that word? Yes. I know. Wow. Wow. You heard it right there, guys. Apparently, you know, this illegal alien who um who killed Lake and Riley, apparently she he helped um, build this country. This is ridiculous, man. He's given all the respect to this illegal alien who murdered an American citizen. No apology. No pushback from um from MSNBS when Joe Biden gets her name wrong. No pushback. Because the left, they do not care about Lake and Riley. They don't care. They don't care whatsoever, man. They do not care about you. And you should be outraged by this. But Joe Biden expects people to actually vote for him. You are an idiot. If you actually vote for Joe Biden. Man. And yes, 
That guy who killed Lincoln Riley is vermin. He is scum. He deserves absolutely no respect. He should have never been in this country, but if Joe Biden actually did his job, he wouldn't have been here. And guess what? Lake and Riley would be alive right now. I mean, Joe Biden is disgusting. Man. Absolutely disgusting. But here's another reason why you guys shouldn't be voting for Joe Biden. Look at this here. He held a rally in Pennsylvania. And this man said he was running for Congress. Congress. This man didn't know where he's at, man. This man's not calling the shots. Joe Biden, man, like I said, man, Joe Biden is being controlled. That's why he apologized. Because he's being controlled. By this man says he's running for Congress. No correction. Listen to this, man. He he really doesn't make any sense here either. Listen in. Now, the Pennsylvanian, I have a message for you. Send me to Congress. <laughs> Congress. I promise you, we take back Congress. We we will restore Roe v. Wade as the law of the land. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Un <laughs> This is the man that apparently got 81 million votes. 81 million. This man says he's running for Congress. There's a reason why, guys, that um, people are not buying what Joe Biden is selling when it comes to the border. Nobody's buying it. His approval rating on the border, man, is horrific. Horrific. And now I believe the border is one of the biggest reasons why Trump is actually dominating in the polls right now. Because people remember, man, how secure the border was under Trump, despite opposition. Joe Biden is letting in, what, 10 million people that we know of during his occupation of the Oval Office. And the total number of people that probably got through, that didn't get caught, it may be 15 to 20 million people. This man is a disaster, man. A disaster. And now he's a to an illegal alien murderer. I don't believe he's even talked to Lake and Riley's family. President Trump did at his rally. President Trump had uh, Lake and Riley's uh, mother. I believe she was actually there. But Joe Biden, I don't believe he's even called Lake and Riley's uh, mother. Doesn't care. Because uh, Lake and Riley's the wrong skin color, right? Doesn't fit the narrative of the Democrat agenda. Astonishing, man. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and White Network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.
turn his back on up turn. I don't, I, don't, I don't think so, bro. I think the boys locked in, man. But look, we finna uh, check it out. A lot of people were sending me this saying, hey, bro, you gotta check this out. Like, that y'all niggas don't even understand what's going on, so y'all want me to figure it out. Nigga, I don't know. <laughs> I'm finna listen to it just like y'all. But look, we finna check this out, man. Adam Calhoun, Shepard, let's get it, man. He in the driveway with it. Oh, whoa, 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 Paul. First thing I noticed, first thing I noticed, other than <laughs> no trespassing, get out the property, nigga, you gonna get, you gonna die. But look, he in the driveway. He put it, oh, Lord, oh, yeah. Y'all niggas ain't going there. Y'all niggas not going there. If you want to smoke, he, he let you know. This is this is my address right here. But also know this. Also know that you gonna die. <laughs> Thanks, nigga. Hey, but I love it. But I love it. I love it, nigga. I love it. Hey, I love the energy already. Got the mind beat, nigga. Let's go, man. A lot of a lot of people don't a lot of people don't know this from Eight Mile. A lot of people first time ever hearing this beat was from Eight Mile. I know uh Eight Mile made it real popular though. It was already popular. If you if you know you know. If you know you know. If you that type of hip hop fan, you already know where it's from. But I guarantee you, a lot of the younger fans gonna know it from Eight Mile. Keep the subliminal swimming no more when you belittle me. Say my name in the disc. Be a man, die with dignity. I picked up the pen again so you can start hating everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking about? He <laughs> said, hey, you want to go toe to toe with me? Hey, I'm going to pick up the pen. We, we can go toe to toe like that. But hey, if you gonna die, die with this man, man. <laughs> Facts. Keep this with me, no more when you belittle me. Say my name in the disc, be a man, die with dignity. I picked up the pen again so you can start reading everything I got. Does numbers, smart Asian. I was not a part of making a thought about my part, standing ovation. Nah, 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 nah. Everything I dropped, do numbers? Smart Asian? <laughs> then he said, hey, everything, hey, he did it, what'd he say? He did a little Jamaican reference. Everything high, it's something, something high as fuck. Who the? The pen again so you can start hating. Everything I drop does numbers. Smart Asian, I'm a chart high as fuck. I'm Jamaican, throw fast by far. Stand it. I'm a chart high as fuck. Album chart highest part. Part Jamaican. Asian, album chart highest part. Part Jamaican, throw fast by part. Yeah! Oh, so I think you think they trying to put their coat on. Do everything to make it, except write a dope song. Mm -hmm. I'm a lot pressing, he ain't breathing, he ain't breathing. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he rapping. That boy AC rapping. You know what I'm saying? No. Y'all know, y'all know. This is what this what this is what I love right here. I love when this nigga rap. He always rap. I told y'all in the last reaction, this nigga Adam can really rap. This the out of my life right here, man. Facts. This the out of my love right here. I can already tell this is gonna be crazy. We 38 seconds in. Boy, you're an old head 
fucking what? Weed bag dope? Boy, that's the why. What? Nigga, I ain't heard weed bag in so long, nigga. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta hear the Eminem Im- 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 more. to be dope like a weed bag. Take a Xanax and have a relapse. I lose myself. Take a Xanax and have a relapse? Oh my god, the Eminem Im- flip is crazy. The Eminem Im- flip is crazy. I, I guarantee a lot of y'all gonna take that the wrong way. I already know it. If y'all know Adam, y'all know Adam love him. I wish Eminem would be back. He used to be dope like a weed bag. Take his hand next and have a relapse. Oh my God. Flipping through my CDs. Ooh, relapse. Lose myself. I lose myself in the beat. Oh my God. Oh my God. He used to be dope like a weed bag. Take a stand next and have a relapse. I lose myself in the beat, flipping through my CDs. Dick and eyes, they was always on repeat. Now little Nas X sucking dick on the TV and kids watching that shit. Free lead.
Milwaukee Wireless does control adapter and remote kit. Milwaukee has been a leading name in the construction world for as long as anyone can remember. And now they have done it again with the amazing new wireless dust control adapter and remote kit. This tool is ideal for vacuum cleaners and dust extraction systems. And it will save you the effort of having to constantly walk back and forth to the power outlet. This simple remote control allows for remote switching of the outlet. And multiple remotes can be paired with a singular device. This is a simple yet hugely invaluable tool that will only cost $120. So there is no hesitation that this is an investment everyone can make. Draper Fence Wire Tensioning Tool Second on our insane tool list, introducing a UK-made tensioning tool that has finally unveiled the secret behind those perfectly pulled fences. The Draper Fence Wire Tensioning Tool promises expert quality and effortless tensioning every time. And since it's priced at a reasonable $71, it's something everyone can invest in. The great thing is that you need not worry about compatibility because the base plate is incredibly versatile and will fit almost any post like a glove. It's made from powerful carbon steel and the powerhouse design is ideal for wires up to 0.2 inches or five millimeters in diameter. The tool is also remarkably compact for efficient work at only 30 inches or 76 centimeters in length. And it's 23.6 inch or 60 centimeter handle offers a solid, reliable grip and comfortable use all day long. Hamelman Master Jet. Meet the Hamelman Master Jet, your new go-to rotor jet for all things concrete maintenance and repair related. This high-functioning turbine nozzle excels at a variety of tasks, like degreasing, dedusting, scraping, and roughening surfaces. These used to be back-breaking tasks, but now this tool will save you a lot of time and energy. You can tailor the tool with up to 10 different nozzle quantities. It has an impressive water flow rate max of 16 gallons, or 60 liters per hour. An effortless slide of the protective cover is all that's needed to control the speed and pressure of the jet. And because it can be used at high pressures of up to 3,200 bar, it's definitely a force to be reckoned with. The patented sealing technology of this tool and the vibration reduction makes it stand out. And at only 2.2 pounds or 1 kilogram, it's the best compact rotor jet available. The price can be established on inquiry to the company. Zanzini Buddy Lift Plasmoid. Transporting heavy appliances up multiple flights of stairs is one of the biggest hassles of living, and it can be a difficult and dangerous task, especially if you're carrying them up a narrow flight of stairs, or just any stairs at all for that matter. Luckily for lifters everywhere, an Italian company has invented the ultimate back-saving device that will help you move anything from a washing machine to a stack of books with ease. This electric hand truck can be used to transport goods in and out of pretty much anywhere, and with a compact width of only 23 inches or 58 centimeters, it's the ideal tool for any move. You won't need to worry about it tipping over either because it comes with a built-in gravity sensor that detects the weight of the load and automatically adjusts the center of gravity to prevent it from falling over. The device has a lifting capacity between 331 and 441 pounds or 150 and 200 kilograms and its efficient battery will power the lifter for more than 400 steps with an impressive average speed of between 27 and 47 steps per minute at a cost of around $6,000. It's no cheap addition to your toolkit, but it will prove it's worth Spit Pulsa 27P 
The cordless tool family has by now become a staple in most DIY and construction projects. And the modern Spit Pulsa 27P has now revolutionized nail guns for the better. This particular tool is a gas-powered nail gun that will help you get through any job, whether you're remodeling your house or constructing a new deck. Everything from masonry to steel and concrete projects will be simplified thanks to this innovative nail gun. It's guaranteed to be a lot more powerful than your average nail gun. A single magazine gets you through 30 shots, and a single charge lasts for 10,000 shots. Not only this, but it can operate smoothly in temperatures ranging from 5 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 15 and 49 degrees Celsius. It's also designed with balance in mind. It promises nearly dust-free work and less vibrations, which means a lot less strain on your hands, wrists, and arms. The amazing nail gun is quieter than most, and it operates at frequencies of less than 91 decibels. This compact tool weighs only 7 pounds or 3.4 kilograms. And at $855, it's a construction tool everyone is itching to get their hands on. <laughs> DeWalt 20V Max Cordless Cable Stripper. Back in 2017, DeWalt made the promise to revolutionize cable stripping. And six years later, the DeWalt 20V Max Cordless Cable Stripper is finally here. This modern tool is the perfect companion for stripping insulation off of cables. And it's versatile enough to work on cables and machine tools, control circuits, or supply lines. And it offers the flexibility to adjust the speed and rotation of its operation. It is fitted with an advanced e-clutch system that prevents overloads and helps to resolve jams in the machine. While the standalone tool can be purchased for $85. If you want to opt for the entire kit with 20 bushings, a charger and battery, and a carrying case. It will have a price tag of around $462. The tool can be used on copper cables up to 15 inches or 380 millimeters and aluminum wires up to 18 inches or 456 millimeters. And it's the tool that'll definitely change your life. Dystar RMTX. You wouldn't think that modern diamond drill bits could still be upgraded, but the new Dystar diamond drill bit has proved us wrong. This exceptional little gadget has been tailored for the dry drilling process, and this means that there's no need for water cooling and no extra time spent on the job, as well as stress-free alterations on those delicate, already complicated projects. This little drill bit laughs in the face of even reinforced concrete and is set to become the fastest of the drilling world. According to its manufacturer, the advanced 13-inch or 320-millimeter version boasts equally spaced diamond grains and laser welded segments and it's also available with outside diameter sizes ranging from 1.6 to 6 inches or 42 to 150 millimeters the tool has a length of between 12 and 18 inches or 300 and 450 millimeters and the price won't break the bank even only 80 to 160 dollars depending on the model stanley 183069 max steel no workshop worth its salt will ever be caught without a decent clamp. It's the backbone of any serious project, from wood to metal making, and with this new addition to the Stanley family, the 183069 Max Steel, no job will ever be too intimidating again. This modern and compact weight of just 2.2 pounds or 1 kilogram, universal multi-angle clamp with its newly patented articulating hinge, is super lightweight and portable, allowing the user to easily move the clamp around between different workstations and surfaces. The innovative clamps evenly distribute pressure on all your work pieces and secure the tool to any flat surface without any scratching or damage and the tool has a clamping depth of 1.5 inches or 40 millimeters the detachable pads on the jaw faces add extra flexibility by allowing for an adjustable width range of 2.7 to 3 inches or 70 to 75 millimeters and it can be yours for only 60 dollars tbh 4s5 01 up next, we have a little tool that goes beyond the conventional roll of a mere knife, thanks to its ingenious patented mechanism that allows you to choose between using it as a cutting blade or a scraper with nothing but a simple press of a button. This is the perfect two-in-one tool, and that's not all. If you flip the TBH 4S501 over, there's a built-in can opener for those pesky paint cans. It's got a slip-free handle that won't let you ever lose your grip. A safety button for worry-free use and comes with five universal blades. It weighs in at a mere 10.5 ounces or 300 grams, so it offers true pocket-sized convenience. This tool will help you get through everything from cutting carpets to removing stickers, and it's currently selling for $24. Bosch Universal Tacker. 
Bosch, the world leading brand of German design tools, now impresses with their cordless universal tacker. This nail and staple tool has been designed to provide the user with the ultimate inconvenience in a range of DIY projects. And because it is powered by Bosch's innovative Sinion technology, it autonomously regulates the current voltage ratio based on the specific task you are busy with, ensuring optimal performance while conserving battery life. As an added bonus, it is also a part of their line of 18V power for all tools, which means that you can use one battery and swap it out across all compatible tools. This modern tacker that tips the scales at just 2.8 pounds or 1.3 kilograms packs a punch. You can keep an eye on the staple levels and power levels with the convenient charge indicator and effortlessly change the amount of power you need to complete your project with its built-in impact force dial. It has a capacity of up to 100 type 53 staples ranging from 0.2 to 0.5 inches or 6 to 14 millimeters and it gets the job done at an impressive speed of 30 staples per minute. This remarkable tool will cost you only one one hundred twenty four dollars. <laughs> Logger Head Tools Bionic Wrench. Imagine a wrench that is as easy to use as a pair of pliers. Well, the next step in the evolution of the wrench is here, and it's the Bionic Wrench from Logger Head Tools. The already patented hybrid tool combines the flexibility of an adjustable wrench with the user-friendly nature of a pair of pliers, and it's the innovative twist you didn't know you needed in a wrench. Investing in the Bionic Wrench means no more lugging around hefty kits or constantly swapping tools anymore. The modern wrench covers nuts and bolts from 0.3 inches to 0.6 inches, or 7 to 14 millimeters and a 0.5 to 0.7 inches or 13 to 20 millimeters and the six-sided grip with extendable connecting segments prevents edge rounding. These exceptional wrenches are now available on store shelves waiting to transform your garage and the set can be yours for only $65. Tiger Tool Heavy Duty Yoke Puller Tools are the cornerstone of any mechanic's day, and there are not many that can compete with the Tiger Tool Heavy Duty Yoke Puller. The new tool, crafted from thick, top-notch steel, is just a thing for mechanics seeking precision in tasks that involve transmissions, differentials, and cart and shafts. It has been proven to seamlessly work with Volvo, Kenworth, and other Class 6 and 8 trucks. This yoke puller offers a weight force of around 25,000 pounds, or 11 tons. But it's not just about power. It's also about minimizing the risk and making sure even challenging tasks are completed safely. Safely. This yoke puller combines state-of-the-art precision, safety, and reliability, and at a price tag of $500, it's a complete no-brainer. Roll Truck Cloud. Cables without spools are a real headache. They tangle, knot up, and turn into a frustrating wild jungle of wires. And in the workplace, this cable chaos slows things down and can even be risky. That's why tools like the next one and the next are such a great addition to any toolkit. This portable reel is not just your average solution. It's flexible, adjustable, and comes in multiple versions. The standard model weighing in at a mere 16.5 pounds or 7.5 kilograms is tailor-made for a maximum diameter of 30 inches or 75 centimeters. But if you need something a little more robust, the XL model is slightly heavier at 21 pounds or 9.5 kilograms, and it is capable of handling coils up to 3.2 feet or 1 meter in diameter. Both are made with an innate lifting capacity of 176 pounds or 80 kilograms. The standard version of this remarkable system comes with a price tag of $357. <laughs> Union Spoke Tension Meter the bicycle is a simple machine that has been around for over a century. And considering that more than 100 million of them are produced annually, it's clear that there is a need for specialized bicycle tools. This is what... commentator to go through what the heck happened last night with Joe Biden and the State of the Union. Grant Stinchfield, thank you so much for coming on today. Yeah, no problem, Steve. It's great to be with you again. I was to be on so, uh, you know, Biden's 30 minutes late to his own event. He then walks in like he's the king. They're patting him on the back, uh, telling him how great he is. He finally gets started. And the first thing he does is he compares himself to Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the great wartime president. He then says Vladimir Putin is Adolf Hitler. And Donald Trump is willing to hand over the world and Europe to Hitler. 
Uh, did, did you pick up on that? Did you see what he was subtly doing to demonize Donald Trump while making himself look like a hero? Yeah, I don't even think that it was subtle. Uh, he, he literally started out his State of the Union address, which should be about how was America doing, and he started it out in Utah. And as you mentioned, his wacky comparisons. So he, he starts with Ukraine, then he complains about Republicans, then he's complaining about Donald Trump. For 10 minutes, we don't get anything about the State of the Union. We, we got about the war in Ukraine and why we need to send money there. It took him, I don't know how long, before he even got to the border, which is the biggest problem that we face. And, and I think my, my major takeaway from the whole night is what was he yelling and screaming about? The man was like angry, screaming, yelling the entire time. I was like, was he mad? He got chocolate pudding in, in the White House home for the elderly this morning. Than the like, what set him off? I have no idea. Yeah, he did. He came across as angry. Like my son asked me, um, did, did he seem more energized? I said, yeah, it reminded me of... Uh, when they uh, pumped Hitler full of cocaine and methamphetamine, and then they sat him down in front of Mussolini, and he just screamed for six hours until finally Italy was like, okay, fine, we'll go to war with Germany, right? Like, he was amped up. He was definitely on something. His cognitive ability was better than normal, not great, but better than normal. But man, he was just like pumped full of testosterone or something. So I think it was Adderall, I really do, because his, his voice patterns were... Just, he was rolling through, and I've never seen him speak as fast as he did. This is typically common of somebody that's on speed, and let's face it, that's all Adderall is. It's straight speed that your doctor prescribes to you. So you, you, had, you had that from him. Two, two big moments that I think was the worst of the State of the Union. The first was arresting the Gold Star father, Steve McCoy, whose son, Kareem, died in Afghanistan, the box withdrawal. You, you shouldn't disrupt the State of the Union, but once he's pulled out, give him a bottle of water. And say, hey, brother, I know you, you got to calm down. I can't let you back in. Maybe call, have somebody with the Capitol Police call Joe Biden's confidants or senior advisors and say, hey, he wants you to come in the Oval Office tomorrow. You don't arrest the man. He lost his son for crying out loud. He was clearly angry and uh, he didn't deserve to be arrested. That tells you what Joe Biden's America is all about. He despises the military. He has no respect for Gold Star families. Really a disgrace. And then botching Lake and Riley's name, this Georgia student, 22 years old, nursing student, killed by an illegal alien who was arrested too many times to count, never should have been in the position to murder her. Lincoln Riley, Lincoln, he comes through with. And uh, that, to me, was just really, really bad. Well, sadly, Lincoln Riley is trending on Twitter this morning. Um, you know, they can't even, they, it's not even her name that's trending. It's like this this poor, you know, deceased girl can't even get any respect. And then he turned the tables and said, you know, she's basically dead because of Republicans in Congress. I, I just thought it was such a, such a slap in the face. Well, there was no compassion there at all. And, and you know, Lincoln Riley, for sports fans, he's the head coach of, of USC football. So uh, I know Biden's a big sports fan, but is he, was he conflating Lincoln Riley, the head coach, 40-year-old man, making $10 million a year for Lincoln Riley, a nursing student? I mean, I don't know. It was really bad, though. And so then he goes on to say, first I thought it was he said thousands of illegals kill every year, but he did, I played it over and over again. It's how many thousands are killed by legals, he says, as if to make the comparison somehow that, well, you know, legal people here legally kill people too, American citizens kill people. What does one have to do with the other? If anything, if you're here illegally, there was no reason for you to be in position to kill somebody. One, you should have gotten into the country. Two, after you're arrested numerous times, you should have been in jail or on your way back to your own country. But he makes these wild comparisons. It tells me no compassion whatsoever. And then he has to go and say, I've lost children too. I know where you're coming from. This guy is just, uh, you know, he's a disgrace, really. He, he's an angry old man with no business being in the Oval Office. And I think he's the greatest national security risk we face. Uh, remember when Borders are uh, Kamala Harris was asked 
Have, have you been to the border? Like it's your one duty. It's the, it's the super duty that's been put on your priority list. Have you been to the border? And she's like, well, no, but I haven't been to Europe either, right? It's like, yeah, it's illegal to kill this beautiful, innocent, college-age girl, but legal people kill people too. It was like, it was such a, it was such a shifting to else instead of just saying, listen, I hate that someone who snuck into the country did this to one of our people. We're going to shut this down. There was none of that. You know, if, if you want to take positive away from the speech last night, I think he solidified with his base that his goal was to go out there and show his base that he still is full, full of vigor and energy and he can run again and for the next four years. And I think they take his anger and his fire and his... And his, you know, just wildness. And they say, okay, he can run another four years. That's a good thing. That's a good thing for President Trump. It's a good thing for all of us. I think he's the easiest one to beat of anybody. But they don't really have a very deep bench. The other part of this is that if he was going to try to take moderates, independents, left-leaning individuals, Alright guys, it's time to get up, get out, and guard your dog duty time, buddy. Come on, let's see why these guys are barking. And it's time to go in the quill cage. Quill cage like it. Turkey! Jump it! We have an egg of it, man. No. Hey, no. Me that chicken along. Come on, guys. Daddy got work to do. I went ahead and I let the, uh, I had two of my, uh, two of my birds die. So I let them out. I let all the uh, out of four of the turkeys. There's only three left. So I went ahead and I let them out because I got to move their house today. Just make sure they're okay. Yeah, they're already back in their house. Well, they know where they live at least. Yeah, there's three of them. There's two of them. The third one's not in there, though. See your dead turkey over there. One of I and some money's died. Which I'm going to do a taxidermy on him. Come on, guys! Up up! <laughs> hey! Where am I the turkey? Turkey soldier! 
So if I do a taxidermy on the uh, on the I have some money, they didn't make it because their bones are black. I think that would be really cool if we could. Uh, there's my other turkey. What's that turkey love? Turkey, turkey love. <coughs> What's up, player? Yeah, come on. Come on, turkey. Yeah, turkey, turkey, turkey. Come on, check with turkey. Yeah, I have some money. See, a bunch of these eggs are I have some money eggs. Well, some of them were, not them green ones. Those yellow ones over there are. Here's your half, look. There's your half, look. There, there you go, there's your half. <laughs> Jojo! Hey! Leave that chicken alone. If it wants to have a baby right there, let it have a baby right there. Come on, Jojo! Little bit! Get your butt over here, you shit eater. Hey! No, Trippy! Stop! Come on, my man! Jojo! Junior Gaudi line! Up, up! Time to care about the chicken lives! I'm worried about these guys, they're not growing. What happened with the other ones? They never got no bigger. And they just died by the third, fourth day. I don't want none of my babies to die. They all look like they're doing good, so. Jump it! Hush! Hey, a little bit! Hey, a little bit! JJ! Let's see what we get. Let's sell some, baby. Ooh, what is that? What kind is that? Dang it, I don't see them no more. There's a bunch of gingers up in here, though. Yeah, uh, y'all are doing very good, growing good, yeah, y'all are doing wonderful. Little Pimp C Plow Boys. What's up, I am? I mean, what's up, uh, uh, our Bob White? I think y'all ready to go in a cage on your zone. What's up, Bob the Whiters? Man, I don't like the light. Okay, no bye. The light! Oh my goodness! You get that baby! You get that baby! We got some I am some money in the house tonight. I am some money doing it all right. I gotta take you out. See, there's a bunch of little ones with a bunch of big ones.
What's up, soldiers? Still no eggs. I'm worried about y'all. Why not y'all making eggs? These guys are making eggs. Why aren't you making no eggs for that day, huh? Do I need to switch y'all out with a different male? This poor guy lost his female, so I'm gonna have to put a bob white female up in there so they can get some love in. You heard me? I have some money, baby. Mm. Mm. Gotta get that quail over to their newly desired hungry people. Alright, y'all, please like and subscribe.